They usually take the forms of people like Ziz and Jeff Side. They usually say bra, Myron, dance to EDM music and take mirror selfies at every workout. Alright guys, I am back from the video. I hope you're all doing well. This one is a slightly different video to ones that I've done before. And in this video guys, I'm going to be explaining to you why Greg Doucette is leading a fitness revolution and why now is probably the best time to get into fitness in terms of information out there that is true and how a lot of the myths have been busted over the past decade. I'm also accompanying with that going to explain to you my four groups that I've identified in the fitness industry throughout my time from starting out 10 years ago to now and see if any of you guys agree with me on this. I had a lot of fun putting these four groups together and thinking about the characteristics of each one and who falls into it. If you guys don't know who Greg Doucette is, he is a YouTuber that has come out of nowhere over the past couple of years. Um, I have no idea how quickly his rise was, but when I first watched his video maybe a year ago, he's at least gone from 200,000 to just over 600,000 subs. I've not, I'm not too sure of the exact numbers, but this guy is gaining a lot of popularity because of the way he delivers his information. And if you're looking for my personal workout programs that are gonna have you in the best shape of your life. You don't need any equipment. You lift a can of soup, eight sets of 30 second biceps curls with corn and peas, eat it after, have some protein. You're gonna have six pack in three weeks probably. He conveys the information in an entertaining way through the use of people providing misinformation. And that's kind of, that's kind of the style that I try and do in my calling bullshit videos. You know, make it entertaining for you guys, but then also provide some really good information that will help you and you can take it forward um, in your fitness lifestyle. So yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into this. If you guys haven't noticed, I got a tattoo. Ooh, you're hard showing off. I, I wanted one for a few years, so I picked one up um, and it's awesome, it's awesome. Yeah. A lot of people thought it was a rogue decision, but the outcome is more than ideal. So there you go. So I want to start off with the first group that came to my mind. Um, and this is the first group that most people start in and they are called what I call the free agents. Now when I see free agent, that's because they are not yet assigned to the other three groups. It's usually people that are new to the gym, have just started out, or very young, impressionable people. So taking for me example, in my early days as a, in the free agent group, um, I spent most of my days, you know, in taking information from YouTube from people such as Elliot Hulse, the Hodge Twins, Matt Ogus, Chris Jones, and Christian Guzman. They usually know very, very little about fitness and can be easily influenced by the information that they digest in their early periods of working out. And because this group are so open to being molded with information, they can be the most misled group. These guys are the group that they will go to the gym and they'll chat to the guy next to them and they'll say, do 10 sets of bicep curls every day and you'll gain massive arms. They're also the type of group that think that creatine and BCAs are some magical gains potion. If you drink every day, you're guaranteed to blow up like a balloon. They're also the group that usually think that if you don't eat within 30 minutes post-workout, you lose all your gains. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no, no! And they're usually the group that ends up hitting chest and biceps four days a week and hitting legs zero days a week. But this group is fine. They are very new to fitness and they're very easily misled and they don't know anything at this point. Where you go from being a free agent all depends on who you speak to and the information you take in. You can go into any of the three groups, which I will go through on this next one. So. 
The group number two, I am going to call them the radicals. Now these are very, very small groups of different extreme beliefs. These are the people that are so consumed in their self-beliefs that they fail to take any sort of information in that contradicts their beliefs. They usually only hang around with people with those same extreme beliefs so they can tell each other how right they are and ignore everybody else that says they're wrong. Hey, I'm sorry I didn't see you there. I was too busy blocking out the haters. These guys have a cult-like mentality and if you do not agree with their beliefs, they do not want to associate with you. They only want to associate with the people that agree with them and they are very, very tight-knit small groups. They are very, very passionate about what they believe in and they will destroy anything that contradicts their beliefs. And it is just unthinkable, it's just absolutely unthinkable for there to be any other solution than the ones inside their head. Not up in here! Not up in here! Oh. Some examples of these groups would be carnivore only diets where they just eat beef because that's what we did when we hunted 10,000 years ago. You also have the hardcore vegans that think if you eat meat, you're an absolute psycho, bloodthirsty killer and you're just gonna, you're gonna die of cancer in the next week if you don't change your diet. And I believe my radicals group also houses the HQ of the super bro. Now the super bro is taking your standard bro knowledge and condensing it down to a very intense version of the bro. These are the guys that will change their whole life around making their seven meals a day fit the exact second at which it lands. They are also the guys that believe that if you do not have your protein shake shaking up in the changing rooms and you're glugging it down literally five seconds after you finished your last chest fly, then you will lose all your gains. And the HQ is usually on bodybuilding.com where they show their stats on their profile of how much they bench because with the super bro, how much you bench and how much you deadlift is directly correlated to how much you know. That is the radicals. So the third group I call the weapons and the reason I call them the weapons is because these are the people that care about nothing else apart from how good they look, sharing that on social media and getting the validation that they so crave as much as their abs. Man's not dumb! Okay. Man is not dumb! The Weapons is a massive group. I would probably say The Weapons is probably the largest group of all four. All these guys care about is making it for themselves in the fitness industry and being able to refer to themselves as an... as an... oh, I hate this word. As an influencer. <laughs> um, all they care about is getting more likes on Instagram, more views on YouTube. They go to bed at night dreaming of their discount code WEAPON10 for 10% off this shit clothing from China so I can get a 1% commission and pretend that this is like I've made it. They have no idea about functional training. They don't give a damn about how much they bench. They just care about how much of a crevice they have between their top four abs. The junior weapon group love to suck from the teat of the weapon gods and the weapon seniors who are more advanced than them in terms of making it and being an influencer. They usually take the forms of people like Ziz and Jeff Side. They usually say bra, Myron, dance to EDM music and take mirror selfies at every workout. <laughs> From the massive pool of weapons, the select few that do make it through to the social media pinnacle usually end up having to juice to get there and then when they do get there they usually post some shitty post on social media saying if you work hard you will get this physique but then they set unrealistic standards because they're juicing. The HQ of these weapons is usually Gymshark. I know I actually have a Gymshark vest on that's because I got it in their Black Friday sale and it was cheap as fuck but just because I buy a Gymshark vest does not mean that I disagree with the Gymshark athletes who wander around with 5% body fat year round pretending that they're all natural and that you just need to work a bit harder and sweat a bit more and you will get there. That is absolutely ridiculous. They're obviously juicing. It's like, 
when in reality, you cannot be 4% year round and you cannot put 20 pounds of muscle on in two months. The weapons are a group that usually work out with their top off. They also love to post on a almost daily basis of their chiseled abs to make sure that the rest of the peasant world know for a fact that they're fat and lazy. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. Now the final group, I like to call this the wise, the wise group. The wise group, when I first started going to the gym 10 years ago, was so small that I didn't, that most people probably didn't even know it existed. But funnily enough, this small wise group has been growing over the past 10 years to the point where it is a decent sizable group and it is currently being led by Greg Doucette and they are gaining momentum. It's a great time to be in the WISE group because there are a lot more people becoming enlightened to the true knowledge of fitness, nutrition and training, which is why it is probably the best time to get into being in fitness now because the amount of true information getting around is more than it was before and protein bars don't taste like a brick anymore. So that's also a bonus. So some characteristics of the WISE group are the people that don't really care about winning a fashion contest when they go to the gym. They know they are there for one purpose and one purpose only, and that is to conduct their training program in line with their training goals. And they also don't walk around and train topless on a regular basis. They don't go into the gym just to take a mirror selfie and walk out. All they care about is progressing from their previous results, having a better physique than last time, having more strength than last time, and knowing for a fact that you can't take shortcuts in this process and understanding that it takes hard work and patience. They understand that calories in is calories out and that if you eat carbs past 9 p.m., you won't get fat. They also understand that you can train and have a diet that fits your lifestyle and that taking four scoops of pump product does not necessarily make you more gains than without. This group know that it's not easy to stay in shape and improve because if it was easy, most of the world wouldn't be obese. They also understand that a balanced diet is the key to long-term fitness success and not taking fat burners and going keto. But unfortunately, even still to this day, they are usually the most ignored group. And the reason they are the most ignored group out of all four is because they are the realistic group that usually say what people don't wanna hear. And when I say what people don't wanna hear, it's that things take time you can't get a six pack in six weeks. And Greg Doucette is one that falls into the wise group. And the reason I'm highlighting him in this video is because he's gaining so much popularity with his videos and his social media, people are actually getting very much educated on fitness, diet, nutrition, and weight training um, without them even knowing it and what it takes to stay in shape and improve your physique year on year. Usually with his catchphrase of whatever you're doing, do it harder than last time, whether that be training, cardio, commitment, determination. If any of you guys agreed with the four groups that I pulled together, please give this video a like. If you have any additional points or comments to make on any of the groups that I talked about, feel free to comment that down below definitely check out Greg Doucette's channel because he is definitely giving the most informative advice out of any YouTube I know so far. I'll put his YouTube down below. I also aspire to do videos as informative as Greg Doucette and as entertaining. So I reckon you should subscribe if you like this video and check out any of the others that I've done. Yeah, this is just my take on the four groups in the fitness industry. Let me know which one you fall under. You can drop that comment down below. I'm gonna say that I was a free agent for maybe two to three years before I ended up slotting myself into the wise group. That's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Take it easy. Peace.